Ah, another day, another painting. Let's get started. The colors on my palette for this painting are yellow ochre, cadmium red medium, ivory black, and titanium white. If you watch my previous videos, you'll know that I often use the Zorn palette for portraits because it makes color mixing so easy. When painting white fur, I always mix white with one or more of the colors on my palette to add some dimension. Colors will look different in every light, so you often have to observe them carefully to see how natural or artificial light affects them. The white fur on this dog has hints of many colors, at least that's how I see it. Before beginning any painting, I like to sketch the subject using dark, medium, and light values. Having that shaded sketch underneath speeds up the painting process. To blend any harsh strokes of color, I learned that glazing will do the trick. You can either use an acrylic medium or just water down the color to apply over the area in layers. What really makes a portrait come to life, I find, is a combination of elements, and of course, a dash of storytelling. Whenever I draw or paint a portrait, I always make sure that the eyes are sharp and in focus, so that they convey emotion and tell a story. Now it's time to add some soft strokes of color to the background and finish this portrait off with some more defining details to the face. Here's the completed portrait of this furry friend painted with a limited palette. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for new videos every week.